Paso County Department of Human Services reports the number of people enrolled in SNAP benefits higher than ever before. News 5's Maggie Bryan spoke with them today about the need and how food banks helping meet families in the middle this holiday season. All year round here at the Salvation Army in Colorado Springs, they say they give out 600 of these food boxes to families each week. They say ever since COVID, that number of people needing food assistance has continued to grow. Right it's the start of the season of giving. And this year at the Salvation Army, that phrase carries more weight than usual. It may look like a lot, but it goes fast. It goes very fast. This is the greatest need that I've seen. And once again, since COVID, it just keeps growing and growing. They say more families in El Paso County need help putting food on the table. Food costs have gotten so high, they're having to make the choices. Do we pay our utilities? Do we stock up our cupboards, You know, feed our families or pay our bills? It's, it's getting really tough for families right now. So tough that the county's Department of Human Services is seeing record high enrollment for SNAP benefits. We are at the highest number of people receiving SNAP benefits than we've ever had before. In El Paso County, SNAP benefits cases are up 7% since 2021, and right now almost one in four people are receiving SNAP assistance. The increase on need for food at like you know, the food banks and things like that is just the cost of food. It's so expensive. The department's economic benefits director says their numbers only provide a snapshot of the actual amount of people that need help. Many who could qualify for benefits don't enroll because of the application process. Thanks to three large food drives over the weekend, the Salvation Army says they are stocked up for the holidays. When the need rises, a lot of times the donations go down because everyone is feeling it, even our donors and our partners. And are ready to feed more than 3,000 people during their annual Thanksgiving Day meal events. The Salvation Army is also asking for pie and other dessert donations before the holiday. You can drop those donations off at their location here on Yuma Street in Colorado Springs from today until Wednesday. For now in Colorado Springs, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5.